This short video is from a comprehensive course on Udemy. In this video, we'll take a look at AI-powered text enhancement and grammar assistance. It's not just spell check anymore. Grammarly will be the focus of our demo, and we'll compare it with some of its competitors. So here we are at the landing page for Grammarly, and you'll see that URL pop up on the top of your screen there, and just type that into your browser, and it will bring you here. And so you have to create an account to get started with Grammarly, and we've got two options here right off the bat. You can sign up with Google, which is a pretty easy option to run with, or you can click here, and then you've got some additional options. You can use whatever email account you want to here, and click this, and then move on with the sign up process. Or you can go ahead, like I said, with Google, Facebook, or Apple, and just create your account that way. Okay, so here we are at the My Grammarly homepage, and I'm going to kick this off by heading over to the left-hand side here, and we'll just work our way down. So this icon and this one, they do the same thing. They both bring you to the My Grammarly homepage. And then this next option right here, this is the trash area. And just know that after 30 days, Grammarly will get rid of any documents that you've thrown out. And all the details for your personal Grammarly account are kept here. Now this next one, the apps icon, this is good to check out. So depending on what device you're using day to day, Windows, Chrome, iPhone, iPad, Android, you could come here and get an app that tailors your Grammarly experience to that device. So it's good to do that to get the most out of your Grammarly experience. So now let's head to Premium. And here we can see the various plans that Grammarly offers us. Now for this demo, we're using the free version, but you can see here we've got a premium option and a business option. And next we'll head down here. This is the support area. I click this. And here we can dive into a bunch of the questions we might have along the way as we're using Grammarly. So here in this section of the My Grammarly homepage, we can find all the documents that we've been working on. Maybe that's over the last few months or maybe over the course of the whole year. And in this search bar, we can look for each of the documents we may want to find based on the title that we've given it. Now right here, you can see obviously, this is where you upload a new document from your computer and into the Grammarly system. So it can help you out with that. But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to use the document that Grammarly has provided for us to take a look at the basic features that Grammarly has to offer. Okay, so when you upload a document to the Grammarly system, it's gonna bring you to this screen, and this is the layout you'll be looking at. Over here on the left, we have the text that needs to be corrected, that needs to be changed. Over here, we have the suggestions that we need to dive into. But I wanna start by heading over here to the right-hand side of the screen. Now, right now, as my document stands, it has an overall score of 76. So let's look into this. Now, when I click there, an in-depth analysis of my writing as it is pops up. And so I can see here that this score is a 76 out of 100. And down here, we have some stats. This is interesting. This is the reading time, speaking time. Down here, we get into the readability of the document. So this is a really good analysis of my writing as it is right now. I'm gonna close out of this right now. And now I'm going to head over to the goals area. Now for your writing in general, or for each project to project, you can come here and you can set your goals. What do you want your audience to be? How formal do you want this article to be? What's the domain? What's the intent of my writing? And you can see down here, I can show the set goal screen whenever I start a new project. So if your writing is varied and you come to Grammarly for different reasons, you can check or uncheck this box. But if you just come to Grammarly for work and your work is generally the same and you have to pump out the same type of documents to a certain level of quality every time, you can just set these goals and keep them as is. Now over here, I can reset to defaults, but I'm going to close out of this. And now let's take a look at the generative AI option that Grammarly offers us. Grammarly has an AI bot at your service. So back in the day, you had to raise your hand in class and ask your teacher for help or ask your parents for help with your homework. Grammarly has AI ready to go to help you with whatever you're writing on. So up front, we can see you can choose the voice for whatever you're working on. Down here, we have some more ideas for you as a writer. Identify gaps in your writing, pick out your main point, 
give me ideas for improvement. The AI will analyze your text and give you these suggestions. And right down here, you can see that we can get even more personalized. Say a question pops into my head and I wanna ask the AI, hey, this just occurred to me, help me out. You can type that in here. So this did just pop into my head. Give me a good food analogy. I love a good food analogy, who doesn't? So let's slide over here and see what it does. And we've got a response. Writing is like cooking a dish, just as a chef needs to carefully select and measure ingredients, etc., etc. So it looks like it dives into an analogy combined with why food analogies are a good idea in the first place. And you can see here that if I wanna insert this into my writing, I can just click right here. If I wanna change something, I can come over here, highlight a word, remove it. If I want to rephrase some things, I can click this. If I don't like this at all, I can trash it. So we're back over here along the right-hand side of the screen. And now let's look at this color-coded system that Grammarly has for us. So if you look over at the left-hand side of the screen where the text is, you can see there are some areas that are underlined in red and highlighted. This has everything to do with the color-coded system that Grammarly has set up over here on the right-hand side of the screen. So we've got red for correctness. This improves spelling, grammar, and punctuation. We've got blue for clarity. This helps make your writing easier to understand. And we can see right here that those problems have been taken care of. Down here, we've got engagement. This helps make your writing more interesting and effective. And delivery. How can I make the right impression on my reader? So if there are any problems in my text, I'm gonna see those pop up in the text highlighted in these particular colors. And right now we can see that I have two correctness issues. So I'm going to slide on over here to the text and we'll look at the first one. So these issues in red, and I've got my comma underlined here. So I'll click on this, it's highlighted. And then we can see over here under suggestions that this box pops up for me to look into this problem. So this is the suggestion that Grammarly has for me. Now, if I want to, I can accept it. I can dismiss it. I'm going to click accept and see what it does in the text. And voila, we can see that the issue has been corrected and we're left with this one. I can go ahead and fix that if I want. So down here along the bottom of the screen, we see some features that we encounter with Microsoft Word, Google Docs. I can change the text by making sections of it bold or italicized or underlined, things like that. Over here, I can take a quick glance at my stats for this document. And lastly, I wanna head over to the left-hand side of the screen. Now down here, you can see the support question mark. This will send us back to the support and feedback area. Now, if I head up here, I can click on the G and that will take me back to the Grammarly homepage. And if I click on these three lines, a whole menu of options pops out here for me. I can head to the My Grammarly homepage. I can create a new document, upload a file, things like that. And if I head down here real quick, this is a nice option. I can change my language preference if I want to do that. Now you can see there, there are many different options just for English. So depending on your background, you may wanna come here and change your preference. So now let's wrap up this Grammarly demo by hitting some of the highlights. We saw that Grammarly is great with grammar checking. It has a plagiarism recognition feature and it excels with that good old fashioned spell check. It is compatible with many different platforms. It integrates with Jasper. It has plugins for Chrome and Safari. It can create guided prompts to generate text that speed up the writing process for us. It has several customizable options to help determine appropriate tone and level of formality. We took a look at that personalized AI assistance that it can give us throughout the ongoing writing process. It has two membership levels for individuals, free and premium and there is an option for businesses as well. So really quickly, let's touch on two AI text enhancement generators that are good alternatives to Grammarly. And remember, a lot of this has to do with what you need AI to help you with. What type of projects are you undertaking? And maybe one of these platforms might be able to help you better with the specific writing needs that you have. Up first is Pro Writing Aid. Now this platform has 20 different writing reports, checks for grammar and spelling, style suggestions. It's used as a desktop app or web editor, and it can be integrated with Google Docs as well as Microsoft Word. Overall, it offers a much more detailed writing analysis than Grammarly with similar features. Second on this list is White Smoke. Now, this platform corrects grammar, punctuation, spelling, style suggestions, sentence rephrasing, things like that. 
It has a desktop version, as well as the White Smoke web and mobile app. Overall, it is a less expensive option as opposed to Grammarly, but it's generally seen to have a less sophisticated user interface. So that wraps up our quick look into the realm of AI text enhancement generators. With Grammarly as our focus, we've seen how these tools can have a positive impact on our quest to produce high quality written content. 